Look at the cute little puppy. Hey everyone, I'm Short Cake. Fudge, even my name is calling me Short? Uh, Y'all better not call me Short, okay? Just call me Short Cake. Got it? Anyways, my last video garnered so much positive reception. Thank you all for your support. And if you want to support me even more, look down at your screen and be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell too to get notified of any future videos. This video is sponsored by me. I have some cute little stickers I'm cooking up. So if you're interested, go to the link below in the description and pre-order some stickers. Keep in mind, this is a pre-order, so you won't get it right away. My sticker maker is already busy as is. Hurry up! We need 500 stickers! ASAP! So, I come from a family of Filipinos. And as you should know, if you got them Asian genes, you have a high probability coming into this world as a short little gremlin. I have a short mom and a tall dad, and as a result, I became even shorter than the both of them, because I was a baby. Duh. Physically, I grew up pretty normally in the American suburbs. I ate plenty, and I had lots of calcium in my diet too. I was even taller than kids my age, and even older kids. It was pretty nice being a tall one for a while. I was a lot more confident and then fifth grade came along. I stopped growing vertically. It was fine for a while until kids in my grade started growing up. It continued into middle school and then into high school. Everyone else seemed like they were maturing into a full grown adult while I, I stayed the exact same height from when I was a fifth grader. I bet all of y'all are having this question in your head. You're probably ravenous sitting at the edge of your seat, grinding your teeth, twitching your eyes, gripping your toes, and salivating at the need of this very specific information. How short am I? Well, I'm 4 feet and 10 inches of happiness. For non-Americans, that is equal to 147.32 centimeters. Yeah, I can't even make it to the 5 feet mark. I see you, Filipino teen. So, what are some things that I struggle with as a short person? I have plenty. So get your calcium juice, milk for the tolerant, and orange juice for the lactose intolerant, and listen up. So, first off, I can't reach that box of cereal on the top of the fridge? Gotta get me a step stool. The carton of orange juice on the highest dial at Walmart? Only way I can get it is if I pretend to reach and hope for a tall person to notice me. That one textbook that everyone in your high school or science class has to get, except all the ones in the bottom shelf are taken and the last ones are too high up to reach just because you didn't arrive early enough? Hopeless. And then the bell rang, and I was still trying so hard to grab at a textbook, even though it's literally impossible. All of a sudden, the teacher's already telling people to turn their pages. After a futile attempt of reaching, I gave up and just went to sit at my desk and stare into space, hoping to dissociate from my lack of tall jeans. Why? Why does this happen to me? Why couldn't I just be tall? Tall like everyone else. Then a classmate gave me a textbook. I never felt so embarrassed yet, so grateful for someone's kind gesture. I was trying really hard to suck in the water in my eyes. Thank you, whoever you are. I don't even know your face or name, but you made me believe that there is hope in this world. Still, this world was made for tall people, not for me. Not only that I can't reach I also can't see in a lot of public bathroom mirrors, they tend to make the mirrors so high up that I can only see my forehead. What? Well, I guess it's better than no mirror, but why so high up? And in cars, those sun visors, it doesn't cover anything for me. Nothing. Not even my forehead. Whenever I have to go to an event where the audience has to be standing up, all I can see are butts. Wow, what an amazing view. What a show. Look at that butt. Look at that butt. <laughs> I usually do some research before making my videos, so in one video I watched, it talked about why being short is a good thing. This girl says that in concerts, the crowd of people actually care enough to create an empty path just for her to cross through. Just because
because she's short. People actually do that for short people? If so, that never happened to me. When I'm in a crowd full of people, I'm always squished and squished and pushed around. And it's really difficult to see where I'm going. People don't give a fudge if I'm short. And to be honest, I don't expect them to. It do be hard to notice smaller people. Or like ants. Practically invisible unless you squat down to see us. In another video about short people perks, they would let the short person sit on their shoulders so they can see better. No way you can do that with me. Your back would be broken the moment you lift me off the ground. This brings me to my next point, weight loss. As a short person, it's extremely hard for me to lose weight. Furthermore, as an American, it's so easy to gain weight. All the food here is based on tall people's caloric needs, so one meal wouldn't make a dent on their weight. But for me, a traditional American fast food meal would be enough to cover my entire caloric needs. Like just one meal and that's all I can eat that day if I don't want to gain weight. Another thing about weight as a short person is that even if I become a healthy weight, I'd still look chubby in comparison to tall people at a healthy BMI. But you know what's even more embarrassing? Group photos with people my age. I remember in junior year of high school where we had to take photos of our group for an English project. In a moment while taking the pictures, I felt normal, like I didn't feel short. But when I had to look at our photos on the big old Promethean board during presentation day, I looked out of place. Like a confused fifth grader amongst high school students. Just to let you know, this next topic is gonna be a bit personal. Infantilization. Oh, this is the worst part of being short. All the other problems I listed before are nothing in comparison to being an adult that's treated like a child. Similar to being petted like a little puppy, people sometimes talk to me like one. Oh, look at the baby. People tend to talk about me in the third person. How old are they? Hello, I'm right here. Oh, well, to be fair, I do speak like a child, so I don't blame uh, them. Hello, I'm 23. I'm, I'm not a child. I'm, I'm 23. But still, being short makes it really hard for people to take you seriously. Being taller gives you a higher chance of getting a high paying job or a higher rank than shorter people. And it just makes sense. Like, who would you hire for a job in, say, teaching high school students? The tiny little 5 foot tall woman who's very likely to get stomped on? Or the 6 foot tall woman who can easily intimidate most of the students in a classroom just from her size? Same applies to labor jobs and any customer service jobs out there. Hall jobs to be honest. People just prefer to hire tall people. Except maybe plumbers. Mario is short for a reason. I guess that's part of why I like this YouTube thing. Because y'all only see me through a device and can't judge me based on how tall I am. <laughs> as a short person, being seen as a child, treated like a child, and talk to like a child, it all goes crashing down on me. It all gets to me, to the point that I feel like a child. I feel unconfident about myself, inferior, like I'm not allowed to do anything adults can. I see myself as a child. But today, I'm starting to change that. Although I have some weaknesses, such as my height and my baby talk, I'm building new skills and also learning how to respect myself and the skills I already have. My 23 years of experience on this earth is plenty of evidence that I'm an adult, and other people's perceptions on me don't change the fact that I've lived that long. Anyway, are you short or tall? Or maybe an average Joe? Comment down below your experiences as someone their height. I'm really curious. Oh yeah, and also thank you all so much for these awesome, amazing, gorgeous, fantastic, and supreme fan arts. Do you want your own fan art to be featured permanently in my next video? Just send your fan arts to my email in the description of my channel or in my social medias. I don't really care. Okay, bye.